Hello everyone, this is Tim with Casa de Casca. I am the lead builder and co-owner along with my amazing wife, Heather. Today I'm gonna walk you through the build process of this beautiful barn door. This door topped out at a massive 60 inches wide and 108 inches high. It was painted in a stunning naval blue by Sherwin-Williams. Here's a list of everything that you will need. To start things off, I needed to build the core to the door. I started with my two MDF sheets ripped down to 34 inches wide and then used some super glue to hold them together. After I glued it up, I did apply a layer of caulking on the seam just in case there was a slight gap. I outlined the size of my door on the sheets, making sure to leave room for excess material, and I also found the center of the door vertically and created my starting point for my 45 degree angles. Now the fun starts. I took my half inch sheets of plywood and ripped them down to five and a half inch strips. I started at the center of the door where I made my 45 degree marks and I mitered two strips to start just beyond the door edge line. As a note, make sure you miter these correctly so the right side of the plywood is facing up. I measured out to the opposite door edge and cut accordingly, ensuring there was enough overhang to cut off later. I lined up the board, added a lot of glue, then used my brad nails to secure the board to the MDF and repeat it on the opposite side. Once the first row was done, I was able to move on to the next. I repeated the same steps, but I used quarter inch spacers to achieve the look I wanted. From there, I just continued on with the same process over and over until I reached the end. Next up are the smaller angled areas. You will want to get your straight edge out and make sure your lines are matching up correctly. I started near the center again, lining up my line with the existing area, then I glued it and attached it. Take your time as you can't be too careful with this part. As you can see, I used my spacers not only side to side, but also to separate the new pieces from the existing pieces. Once everything has had time to dry, you need to flip the piece and repeat this entire process. However, you do want to reverse the pattern so you don't have any matching gaps as they could create weak points with the MDF and could possibly cause issues over time. After completing the backside, it's time to cut to size. I used my track saw and lined it up on the door edge lines I made earlier before assembly and cut each edge down. I did verify everything was being cut correctly along the way to ensure the door would finish at the right size. After being cut, it's time to bondo all the nail holes, seams, and edges, and then lots and lots of sanding. When sanding is complete, it's time to paint. I primed both sides of the door and then hand painted all the seams to ensure everything was covered. Lastly, I got my spray gun out and did two coats to achieve my final look. Once dry, you have a beautiful barn door ready to be hung.